पोटेंशियल एंड पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस ओके जी ठीक ओके ओके नो इश्यूज जान नो इश्यूज ठीक कोई बात नो वरी ठीक है तो नाउ लेट्स डिस्कस विदाउट एनी डिले राइट सो इन द लास्ट क्लास वी हैव कंप्लीटेड द इलेक्ट्रिक चार्ज एज वेल एज द कंडक्टर एंड द बेसिकली द ब्रॉड कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ कंडक्टर्स एंड द इंसुलेटर राइट in this class we in this class we are going to study about the electric potential and potential difference which is a very major physical quantity in the electric current and basically in current electricity topic so let's understand what does it mean electric potential and potential difference in terms of the electricity what does it mean basically? right so uh, just a second right so let me explain it with the help of an example so as i have so uh, like in the last class we have uh, i told you about that uh, like uh, suppose that there is a heater in a room right if you basically switch on that heater there will be a warm area in that room right right after certain um, like uh, like after certain a uh, certain amount of time so the, the room will get warm right similarly in the uh, in the electric current so when the electric charge is placed in a universe in the space so it produces an electric field region around it Yes or no, everyone? It produces an electric field, right? So that region, suppose that, and suppose this is the region. Okay, so like this region will be confined. It's not like it would be infinite. It will be confined. That so that uh, electric field force will we can experience in a very certain amount of region, right? Suppose that if in the room, if you switch on the heater. So the room will get warm if the room is closed. Otherwise, the room will not that much warm, right? It means that it is in a confined region. Similarly, and one more thing. So there is electric field here, yes or no? Yes. Yeah. Suppose that this is a charge. Place in, like somewhere in, in the universe. That we are assuming that it is at infinity. Yes or no? Okay, we are assuming that this point is at infinity. Okay. So, what does it mean? Electric potential. So, electric potential means that when you will take that charge in this region, suppose this is point A, you need to do some work. Suppose that you are going, you have basically you are going to market. So basically, once you will be coming back from the market, your hands will be occupied with the stuffs that you have purchased, right? So it means that when you are carrying your stuffs to your home, so you are doing some work done. Some part of your energy is getting exhausted. Yes or no? So similarly, if you are carrying this charge from infinity to this point in this electric field region, so th this is positive. This is positive. So they will they will repel each other. Yes or no? Similar charges repel each other. Yes or no? So you have to exert yeah. some amount of force, right? You have to basically work done against your force because these these forces are repulsive forces. They are not attracting. They are repulsing. So you, in suppose that you have two magnets. So if you take north pole to north pole, you have to push with your hands to make it closer like this. North pole to north. Right, and if you take north and south, they can easily get attracted. So similarly here, if you need to basically place this charge in this region, you have to do some work against this electric force. That work done will be defined as the electric potential. It means that when a charge from a infinite, like when a charge is placed in the in the external electric field, right, from infinity, that work done is called the electric potential. When you take a charge from infinity, if you place this charge in this region, that work done by you to so taking a charge from point infinity to A, that work done is called electric potential. Clear? Okay. So that's what electric potential is. Okay. Okay. So now let's discuss. Uh, let me raise this. I just to draw so that uh, I can I can I can explain it to to you with the help of an diagram. Right, so where is it? So let's understand what is electric potential for. Yeah, that thing.
इलेक्ट्रिक फर्स्ट लेट साइड ऑन द डेफिनेशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक पेंशन वो यो इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल एट अ पॉइंट इन एन इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इज डिफाइंड as the work done <laughs> in moving up unit positive charge positive charge from infinity to that right it means that when you work done against that force that work done will be count uh, will be you can say called as the electric potential of that right so i'm drawing the uh, diagram again so that you can understand if you want oh, that so, small chart play over here so you are going against the electric force right that work done that you are doing against the electric force that will be called as the electric potential am i clear to all of you please do let me know yes short sure, answer okay now let's talk about the b force electric potential is a scalar quantity scalar means that it has only magnitude right so it does not have any direction or something like that so only magnitude is there in the electric potential okay C point is the SI unit for the electric potential is volt.
ऑपरेटेड कैश ठीक है तो बेसिकली इन द रियल वर्ल्ड द एक्चुअल लाइक देयर इज नो एक्चुअल यूज ऑफ द पोटेंशियल द एक्चुअल यूज ऑफ द दैट इज वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इज द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस राइट सो इन द रियल लाइफ द क्वांटिटी दैट वी यूज इज द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस ठीक है सो दैट इज ऑल अबाउट द इलेक्ट्रिक सो दिस इज अ वेरी बेसिक पॉइंट राइट नॉट मोर देन दैट ठीक है दैट इज नॉट यू जस्ट हैव टू रिमेंबर द डेफिनेशन व्हाट इज द एसआई यूनिट ऑफ इट and what is the na- uh, nature of the quantity that is a scalar quantity am i clear to all of you please do let so can i explain the second point again second point electric potential is a scalar quantity it means that it has only magnitude it depends on the magnitude it means that it does not have any direction at all no direction it does not depend on direction okay whether it's going in forward backward it will be counted as a whole quantity right it does not have any like it does not have any effect on the direction ठीक है नेक्स्ट थिंग दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस उसी पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस नाउ दिस इज द मेन पॉइंट दैट वी यूज इन अवर डे टू डे लाइफ एंड दैट एंड दिस इज द रीजन दैट द Uh, like potential difference is the uh, reason the electricity the basically the actual reason for the flow of electric current right in the wire now let's understand what does it mean now instead of taking two point here suppose that here like suppose everyone uh, that uh, let me copy this okay Just to copy that. So as you can see, so suppose that similarly, so I have taken one charge over, right? So I am also taking one more charge from infinity, right, from here. Okay. So suppose that this is also here. I'm taking right. So this is point B suppose. Okay. So there there are two points, right? This is also positive. Right. So now what is basically electric potential? Electric potential is the amount of work done. Of carrying the unit positive charge from one point to another point in that electric field region. It means that when you take your charge from A to B, from A to B or B to A, it depends like uh, which one is at higher potential, right? So that work done is considered as a potential difference, and this potential difference in the other word is also called as voltage. We see we heard this thing very commonly that a uh, voltage drop. there is no voltage at all in the home due to some electric breakdown or something like that so voltage or the potential difference is the reason for the flow of current in the conductors in our day to day life am i clear potential difference is the main reason behind the flow of electric current throughout the wire am i clear to all so the distance huh. between a and b is considered as potential difference no 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 work done from taking the charge from a to b is called work electric potential difference Work done, not the distance. Work done. Suppose that it it is two kilometer, right? In in normal words, suppose that your market is basically two kilometer away from your home. So whatever you are carrying from in your hands from the market to the home, whatever the work done is uh, like uh, done by your body, right? That work done will be counted as the potential difference if we talk about the electric current here. Okay. So the energy being used. Energy being used. Yes. The energy that is exhausted during the work. That is called as the electric potential. Okay, that's sure. great. So let me write down the definition over here. The potential difference. between
point. is to find out Amount of organ removing unit positive unit charge from one point to another point. Okay. Dear everyone, please do let me know. Satan, you are in the batch. So how is it possible that you don't have any physics class with me in the batch? Please unmute yourself and let me know. Yes, sir. What did you say? I'm saying that if you are in the batch, so how is it possible that there is no class for you in the batch when like it was started I last week? I didn't have physics class since a week. You didn't have class class uh, like uh, any class in the last week with me. No. Hello, ठीक है कोई बात नहीं. Just study this thing. I've just taken one class of this, not more than that. Only one class has been done so far for this chapter. So I'll basically reschedule it for you. Those who have missed the first class, I'll reschedule it so that you can understand this chapter. But right now, please, uh, like this topic is uh, independent from the previous topic. So it's important to understand this thing, right? Okay. And uh, it's a request to all of you, please join the class on time. If you basically join the class in between of the class, so you won't be able to understand this thing. Like if you join 20, 25 minutes in, so there is no point of joining the class, right? So that will be just you will just understand the half of the talk. So it requires to all of you please join the class on time and please check your connection half an hour before the class so that there is no interruption. If there is electricity outage outage or something like that, that is acceptable. But if you just uh, check out the check the connection at the time of class, so that will basically loss that will be a loss. Okay. So it's a request to all of you please check your connection. Okay. So like. I know this thing that technology is like uh, is not that much reliable, but still, so you should at least check one time so that you can have the uh, like a proper class without any interruption. Okay, that's a request. Okay, everyone, I hope you will understand this thing. What I'm trying to say, everyone. Okay. Yes. Sure, that's it. Now, next thing that we are going to discuss. Okay, so this is the definition of the potential difference. I say one more thing, everyone. Uh, please tell me. Uh, potential difference means that. You are say, uh, potential difference means that suppose in normal term, uh, I'm saying that I have two liter of petrol, right, in my bike. I have two liters of petrol in my bike. I have transferred one liter petrol to my scooter, scooter, whatever you say, right. So, what is the amount of petrol left with me? One liter. One liter. Is there any effect on the unit? Like, did it like uh, the unit has changed or something like that? Is there any effect on the unit if I basically subtracted one liter from it? If you basically no, no, no. Yeah, so that is the point. Potential difference in normal word it means that you are subtracting. 
if you talk about the no if suppose that in the in the uh, we can say uh, suppose that there is a situation in which two points are given to you that is va is that equals to 112 volt i have told you that this is the single electric electric potential it means that from infinity to point a so whatever the work that you have done it's basically this 112 okay and there is a point b that is your suppose 124 volt right so potential difference means potential difference it means that b whatever the difference of these two quantities is nothing but your work done from one point to another point am i clear to all of you it means that yes. when you take a charge from point a from b to a because b is at greater potential a is at lower potential so whenever you are basically going from b to a it means that you are doing 12 volt of work done so the formula i will basically give you the formula how is it possible but the potential goes from higher to lower just like the water flows from higher point to the lower point potential also works in the same manner am i clear it means that the potential at higher uh, point and the lower po uh, point potential the electric current will flow from higher potential to lower potential am i clear just like the waterfall the water when suppose that water is at higher level suppose that two water tanks are there one is at completely full and one is basically at the bottom so if you connect it both the, if there is a connection between both the tanks the water will flow until the tanks will become equal to each other the water in the tanks will become equal the water will flow from this because it is at higher point and is it is it is at lower point am i clear yes you can so that the potential is nothing but in simple words if you want to understand the potential in terms of the uh, water fall model you can see this thing the water falls from higher potential to lower potential uh, from high point to lower point so the same thing happens with the electric potential difference as well so the potential okay so the current flows from higher potential to lower potential okay i'll just explain it no need to worry so this is just the concept to understand okay so electric potential sorry electric potential difference So don't get confused if I have like I've written potential difference only. So both are same. Electric potential difference and potential difference. Again, okay, this concept they both are same. It also called as voltage. Again, P is so you are subtracting two potentials, so the put the value, so the SI unit of the potential will not get changed. If you take the difference, if you take if you add two quantities, similar quantities, and if you subtract two similar quantities, the unit is not going to change at all. Okay, unit will remain. Suppose two liter minus one liter, so one liter is there now, right? So SI unit okay and it is also scalar quantity because you are just taking the difference of two points so okay so the nature will not change at all next thing that is important that it is measured by an instrument called do you know voltage is measured by which instrument can anyone tell me is there anyone who knows which instrument is used to measure the voltage or the sorry, potential difference voltage yes yeah, very good yeah Yeah. yeah. So, the meter is the instrument that is used for the measurement for the for measuring the potential difference across two points. Okay. Sir, the yes. SI unit of electric potential and potential difference is same. Huh. Yes. How is, is it same? 
टू वोल्ट माइनस वन वोल्ट वॉट विल गेट इट नॉट वेन टू चेंज ना Oh, okay, I get it. That's what I was saying. That if you add two same same quantities and if you subtract two same quantities, unit will not get affected. Okay, voltmeter is used. Measure. Yeah, across two points. Next thing about the voltmeter is so the so basically uh voltmeter is uh, connected in a circuit. So voltmeter is connected. So these are basic properties. So you should understand this thing. Will there are some topics uh that we'll understand in the later part of this chapter. But right now you just learn that what is so uh, learn the properties. So voltmeter. is connected in parallel With the battery or in the circuit, whatever you want. Okay, voltmeter is connected parallel. So this is a parallel is the combination. Like we'll study the combination of resistors. In that, we'll study about the series as well as the parallel combination. Okay, but understand just right now. Understand this thing that it is connected in parallel because this is one of the most basic portion that comes in the MCQ that voltmeter is connected in which combination. So it is connected in parallel with the battery. Okay. F point is voltmeter should have very high. Very. Okay, resistance will also understand in the coming topic that is resistance will be uh, will be understand this in ohms law. But until then, just understand this thing that voltmeter should have very high resistance. Okay, so we'll get to know that why it is that high resistance and uh, all about the same in the coming portion, right? Because if I explain this thing, the so topic will get away, so that uh, that's why there is no use to uh, explain right now. So one more thing, the formula of the potential difference is V is equal to W by Q. Okay, so V is the potential difference. It means that it is the potential difference between the two points. Okay, so where I am writing it here, V is equal to V one minus V two if V one is greater than V. It means that if we if V one is greater, that's why I will get the positive value. Now, if I assume that V one is greater, so I'm assuming this thing. Okay, so it is a subtraction of the two potential points. Am I clear to all of you? Please do let me know. Is there anyone who is having doubt till now? Is there anyone who is having doubt till now? Please do let me. Yes, so, what are things. those two formulas being used for? Which formula, Maha? This one, potential difference. Yes, the both of them. Like, what's the difference between them? Basically, there is no difference. Actually, if the question is given to you directly, that uh, if the question says that potential difference between the two points is twelve volt, it means that the value given is finally the V. 
okay the final value of b it means that it is already subtracted right there this is the difference between the two points already given to you in the question if question says that one point is at 100 potential 100 volt another point is at 200 volt to find the work done whatever the question is asking so you will do one thing so you will take the difference between the two points to get the value of the potential difference this is not a potential if you, this is potential singular potential but if you subtract you will get the potential difference that is 100 volt that's what we need in this formula this is potential difference and these are potential only in the potential difference two points are involved am i clear to all of you harshit galvin maha jiana ayan sezan and abad and aisha yes okay yes sir sure. so what about the other formula this one Ah, so this one, once you will get the value of P, you can easily calculate the amount of charge that is flowing through the circuit and the work done to carry that charge from one point to another point, if voltage is good. We will solve this question. We will solve one question. I will explain. No need to worry. Okay? We will solve one question as well. Okay. So now let's solve the question. So before that, let me explain one thing as well. That is the definition of one volt in terms of charge. Suppose that question says that define one volt. Okay, so what, how to how you will define that thing? So the potential Said to be one volt, the potential difference between the two points is said to be one volt if one joule of work is done. Work is done in moving one coulomb of charge from one point to another point. This is the depth one coulomb of charge. From one point to other. So this is a very common question in one, uh, like one marker or sometimes a two marker. And the question will say define one volt. Uh, okay, and uh, you just have to define it like this. So define one volt. The potential difference between the two points is said to be one volt if one joule of work is done in moving a one coulomb of charge from one point to the other. If you suppose if you place one joule. One coulomb. So one volt is produced over here. Yes or no, everyone? One joule. If you write this thing, if you, if you see this thing, if you substitute one joule divided by one coulomb, okay. So one joule by one coulomb is one volt. That's why I said if one one joule of work is done to carry one coulomb of charge from one point to another point is called one volt. Am I clear to all of you? Please do let me know. Is there anyone yes. who is having doubt till now? Hmm. Hmm. Sure. Right. Now let's do a question uh, because Maha has a doubt, so we'll do the same type of question. Okay. Yes. Okay. 
So the question is saying that how much work is done in moving a two coulomb of charge? It means that charge is given to you. That is two coulomb. Yes or no, everyone? Right. From a point one hundred eighteen to a point one hundred and twenty eight volts. It means that point A. Is at higher potential. I am assuming that point A is at higher potential. That is one hundred and twenty-eight volts, right, everyone? And point two is at lower potential, one hundred and eighteen. Well, you see this thing, everyone. That two points on are given to you. They are not. Potential difference. Question said uh, is saying that we have to calculate the work done in the work done formula. See this thing. This is potential difference, not potential. This is potential difference. Whenever we are using this formula, we are using potential difference. In this question, two separate potential points are given to get the potential difference. Everyone, you have to subtract subtract the higher potential from the lower potential. Am I clear to all of you? So that is. V is equal to V one minus V two equals to one hundred and twenty eight volt minus one hundred and eighteen volt is equal coming out to be ten volt. This is the potential difference of the basically uh in terms across the two points. Okay. Maha, is this clear? Galvin, Ibad, Ayan, Khazan, Aisha, Jiana. So we have to only use this formula when uh, two volts are given. When two different, basically when the electric potential is given to calculate the electric potential difference, you have to subtract the two points. If normal question is saying that the potential difference or the battery is given to you of six volts, that means that potential difference, that value is given as a potential difference. No need to do something. Just substitute that over in the formula. Okay. okay. Now it's clear, everyone. Okay. So now let's imply. Uh, okay. Now use it in the formula that is W is equal to or V is equal to W by Q. The V is ten. W is we need to calculate. Q is two. W would be equal to Into two, that is coming out to be twenty. Can you tell me the SI unit of the work done? Anyone? Can you tell me the SI unit of the work done? Joule. Joule. Okay. Yes, very good. Joule. Okay. Sure. Any doubt so far to anyone? Please do let me know once again. Okay, now I'm giving you one question, very basic question. Please try to solve that. Okay, and let me know the answer. Is there anyone who is having doubt till now? Ibad, Maha, Galvin, Jiana, Ayan, Hazan, and uh, Aisha. No. Sure, everyone. Sure, that's great. Yes. So now, please do let me know the answer. Okay, in this question, let me know that six volt battery is given. Is it electric potential or electric potential difference? Six volt. Electric potential difference. Yes, that is electric potential difference because but it it is already said that two point battery is basically made up of two electric potential points. So when so so okay, so the difference is already maintained. It means that the difference between the two point is six volt. That's what is saying. The difference between the two points of a battery is six volt. Okay, 
they do let me know the answer first everyone let me know in the chat only don't tell already theek okay. hai sir hmm each column is one column yes ma Okay, I got the answer by Fazan, Maha, Aisha, Galvin, Jana. They let me know the answer. And what about your answer? Okay, bad. Okay, Jana. Anyone else? Left with the answer. I got Fazan, Maha, Aisha, Kelvin, Bad, Jiana. Ashit, what's the answer? Are you there, Ashit? Doing sir. Sure. Check. Okay, yeah. Okay. Each coulomb means one coulomb of charge. Battery is saying that it it means that the electric potential difference is already maintained between the two points, and the difference between the two points is given to you is six volts. Six volts. Okay, Harsh. Okay, six volts. Now the question is saying that we have to uh, identify that how much energy is given to the each coulomb of charge that is passing through a battery of six volts. Six volts. Simply just apply uh, apply the formula that is W by Q. Right, so W will become V Q. Okay, V is six, Q is one. That is coming out to be six joule of work done or energy. Okay, Harshad, how did you calculate? How did you get twenty? Sir, actually do the calculations. Yeah, this was a very basic question, and uh, I don't expect this kind of calculation from you. Please take your calculations and uh, be attentive in this. Go on. Question is there. Please do let me know the answer of this one last. Very fast. So, uh, is everybody having camera camera issue? Only Maha is the person who who has switched on the camera, but not Abad, not Aisha, not Harshit, right? Not Fazan. I like her. Like Jiana said, Jiana told me that she has network issues. That is acceptable. Galvin also has some network issues. What What about others? So, this... so Jal, I have just like turned off it right now. Like for the entire class, I have been turned. Okay, okay, Ashish. So if you are there in the class, so it's your responsibility to turn your on your camera so that I can facially interact with you. This is a class. If you do not accept this thing as a class, so you will. This class will be just 
just the waste of your waste of the time to put but putting your extra effort to work be attentive be regular and be sincere in the past too and you have a choice friend. there is then there is no need to continuously remind you of switching on your camera it's your responsibility first of all okay from now class from the now onwards please switch on your video without reminding pass let me know your answer in the chat video pass about the same Harshit, please switch off your mic. It's uh, having some network, I think. So, mic issue. After this class, there there will be an assessment. Okay, everyone. Potential difference assessment. So please do check out the assessment. Okay. Okay, I got first answer by Jiana. Okay, Jiana. Okay, I got the answer by Aisha. Okay. Next is Ibad. Okay, Maha. Maha, always use the unit. I told you. Okay, please edit. Okay. If you do not use the unit, you, like even you have written the correct answer. In examiner, some examiner will just directly cross it. Else, say where is the unit? What is twelve point five? Right. So it's very very important to understand. Oh, Harshit, again, what is eight? Yeah, Galvin, what is eight? What is what? What is twelve point five, Galvin? I don't know what is twelve point five. It's just a number to me. But uh, you are learning, you are studying physics here, sir. So you have to use the unit. Physics has basically this is a physical quantity. So unit is there. Please do let me know what is the unit. Edit your answers, everyone. Those who have not written the unit, the answers. Okay, guys. It's a very basic thing, I know, but sometimes this will cost you for your mark. Okay, everyone. So please and please, when you are writing the answer, whether it's in class, I know that it's not like the marking, but it's a basically. Reminder to all of you that if you do the same thing in the your exam, you are going to lose your mark. Definitely, you are going to half marks, one marks. It depend on the teacher. So you cannot argue from your teacher that why did you cut your mark? Why did you cut the mark? Okay. So now let's okay everyone. So let's solve this question. We'll see. So that is question is saying that what is the potential difference between the two between the terminals of a battery if two fifty joule of work is done. Or it is required to transfer twenty coulomb of charge. So work is done that is two hundred and fifty joule, and charge that is trans which is flowing through the battery that is twenty coulomb, right? So we know the formula that is V is equals to W by Q. Yes or no, everyone? Two fifty. Divided by twenty, so this is coming out to be twelve point five volt is basically there in the present instance across the battery. Okay, dear everyone, please do let me everyone. Is there anyone who is having doubt in this question? Faizan, Galvin, Harshit, Aisha, okay. Jiana, Maha, Ibad, Ayan, Aisha. No. no, so that's how the this is the difference between the electric potential and potential. It seems very minor, but the actual use is of the potential difference that we use in our day to day day to day life. Battery is basically put is based on the potential difference concept, right? Our electric basically the voltage that is coming in our home is also potential. <laughs> voltage means potential difference. So one point is at higher potential, another point is at lower. So the difference between those points is considered as the Potential difference. Am I clear to all of you? Please do let me. Yes. Sure, that's good. Okay. So this topic is completed. So in the next class, we are going to discuss the electric current. That is also a very important topic. And from now, basically, after the electric current, na, 
the topic this chapter will get intensified because 